Okay, so some changes that I think we should make here is uh, we need to add another constant int. Well, let's call it LED2, just like so. We need to decide where it's going to be. It might as well be pin 10. Okay, so for our uh, setup, we'll need to include a pin mode. Just mess that up. We'll need to include a pin mode for our new LED, uh, which was 10, but we renamed it uh, LED2. Um, it's also going to need to be an output. So there we go. Now it's set up. So what do we do about this uh, digital write thing? Well, first of all, I would like you guys to copy all of this and then paste all of that and then just go ahead and try and see what happens when you change these to twos here. Okay, so that's the first thing I'd like you guys to try, but uh, you will not be able to get LED1 and LED2 to blink at the same rate like this. So here's my suggestion. Uh, you use commas and lines. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this activity was because I want you guys to see that sketches are read from top to bottom and the loop just keeps reading from top to bottom, from top to bottom, from top to bottom. So right now, it's going to do what you want it to on LED1, turn it off, and then it gets to LED2. What we need to do is put LED2 on this line here. And so what we can do is we can add a comma. We can take LED2 and uh, put that right there. Okay, so right now it's saying, hey, when you get here, Arduino, turn this one on and turn that one on and wait 55 seconds. So let's paste uh, the low for digital two right here, right between there. Great. So we go to line one, turn them both on, wait 55 milliseconds, turn them both off, wait 55 milliseconds. And now we don't want this stuff here, and so I'm going to get rid of it. Great. That will blink your LEDs at the same time very quickly. How would you get them to blink exactly off axis? How would you get one to be on exactly while the other one is off? You would simply go to LED1 and read that it is high. Well, so is LED2, so you would switch high for low here. And you would switch low for high here. And then we're going to get our off axis blink. And then once again, we can change the rates with just these two numbers. Okay, guys, um, good luck.